the Famine Memorial Day on the 11th of May was always a day I really wanted to, to remember. The famine was the, probably the major event in Irish history. It's certainly the event that, that spread the Irish all over the world. So those were the two key things. The famine that caused such hardship and maybe made us aware as a people of hardship in other people's lives. And then the spreading of the Irish all over the world. So discussing that with some of my friends as we do in the canteen, the art teacher said, well, maybe she'd do a sculpture. And we were talking about that beautiful sculpture on the quay. So that was the original idea. But then it developed into three girls offering to dress up uh, as famine uh, victims. One of their sisters does makeup, so she volunteered to come in and do the makeup. And to have something, someone living and have someone actually interacting with the kids and walking around creates interest. And also, so three people dressed in famine gear and with, with the facial makeup were able to travel around the building so they could bring the exhibition out to the people who weren't coming in. The music was easy, you know, Irish music is infectious and we have terrific students here to play. So they were on board straight away and Anya Collier who danced is just one of the world's best dancers and she, she was key. <laughs> sort of fell together from the different pieces and I suppose that's how all the pieces come. Somebody offers me a little piece and another little piece and then what my job is to see how can I get the jigsaw, how can I get the art and how can I get the music and how can I get the history all into one piece and that's where it comes from. So we had information on the famine, information on the diaspora and information on hunger today. So how do I get the kids to interact with all three. A quiz and an incentive. So the incentive was 10 euro phone credit. Fill out the quiz, pop it in the box, but to fill it out you're going to have to get the information. So that's what they did. They go and they look at the famine information and how many people suffered, how many people died, how the impact on Ireland when so many people left. Um, I think it was almost 3 million people left Ireland I think during the famine. 20,000 people died trying to get out of Ireland. And where are they now? Then they move to where are they now? 70 million people worldwide are claiming Irish heritage. So what can we do? Well, famine is still ever present today. So if we look at all our connections, we are a tapestry. We're just a thread in, in a tapestry of the world. So they put the pin in the place in, in the world, and all of a sudden the world is small. Famine played um, a huge part in my own history. And my uncle left, um, when he traced his famine, family, they left from New Ross on the famine ships. But it brought huge benefit all over the world. And I think that that's the thing, that if we reach out to each other, we realise we're not far apart. We're very close to each other. I got a letter from one of our students last year. She's in Ghana, and she's doing a gap year. And we talked about it being one person who hears you. Uh, we have a Leaving Cert student, Fove Byrne, in Ghana this year. And we have a Leaving Cert student in India this year. Both working with underprivileged. Both working. Uh, both giving back a huge amount. Um, so they're represented on the map too. And that's what the focus is. If you, if you think that you can, you can. And if you engage with the world, then you can, you can do anything. And 70 million Irish people, we can transform the world with one person reaching out. So one of those students today getting in contact with someone in another country because, oh, we thought about you today because we were talking about the famine and we were talking about where the Irish people are and we were talking about what can we do to share the peace that we now have. Our famine is long history. It's present for others. And all that engagement rolls in to students filling in a questionnaire, putting it in a box, and maybe thinking when they go home, what do they do today? They're not even aware of all the pieces, but all the pieces make a lovely event that was the Famine Memorial Day.